All right, guys, so I'm super pumped for you. I hope that you are taking these skills and seeing what's possible and following along, creating your own website. So this next section that we're about to dive into is geared towards my current graphic design students. So if you're an entrepreneur coming into this course and you just want to learn about e-commerce and online stores for yourself, no problem. Feel free to skip this section if you want to. However, I think there's some valuable content built within it. But, you know, most importantly, what I want to do is just show you how you can take the skill set that you now have to create a Shopify site and offer that as a service. If you're a freelancer or maybe you've got a friend who wants to do something similar and now you can rinse and repeat these skills to create multiple websites. So that's the goal with this next section is I want to peel back the curtain and show you a real case study for one of my clients. His name is Dr. Greg. And in a previous course that I did, we created a logo for him and he loved it, which got my foot in the door, which then naturally led to me being able to get my hands on his website. So what we're going to do is we're going to kick it off in the next video with a discovery call. So every project I do, I start with learning exactly what the client needs. And you'll even see me as we're talking about it. Uh, this is obviously a Shopify course, but I gave him the opportunity, like, do, do we need a WordPress site? Does he even need a website at all? Do we need to build it on Wix or Squarespace? Like trying to figure out where his head's at and why he thinks he needs a Shopify site before I just try and sell him on one. So you'll see how I kind of go through that progression and really dive down, take a deep dive into what does his company really need and how can I help come alongside him to provide that as a service? So I think it's a really high value section. You're going to learn a ton, especially for my graphic design students or students who are wanting to maybe use this as an extra service for their business. So maybe your your uh, bread and butter on your service is going to be, you know, designing brochures or designing, you know, print materials. And maybe you're kind of scared of doing things with the web, but you'll see in this, obviously you've seen coming through these first sections, it's pretty easy. It's basically point and click, which needs to, which leads to the next, uh, thing I want to address is that you might feel like, how could I ever get anybody to pay me for making a website? Because it's just so simple. It's just so point and click. And one thing you'll learn is that a lot of entrepreneurs, even though they could figure it out, they're highly motivated and, you know, go getter kind of people. They don't necessarily always have the time to figure it out. And they just want somebody else to handle it for them. So you'll see how I approach that and how I, you know, Dr. Greg is smart. He could have totally done this on his own, but he trusted me and wanted me to bring along my expertise to help make sure that the website is exactly what he needed and that it was done in time. So that's the value we're adding. We're not adding value with the website per se, as much as we're solving a problem and that ability to solve a problem is where you can charge money for it. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, follow Follow along and we'll be adding more videos to the section as soon as possible. We're still right in the middle of finishing the website for Dr. Greg. At the time of this recording, it's up, it's running, you can see it. It's literally just a homepage in a couple pages because he had an event come up and we needed it like a to act as like a splash page. So we're we're still dropping in products and things like that. And I do kind of skip over some of the setup of his site because you've already learned how to do this in the previous section. So you already hopefully are following along and you've got your website set up and you're starting to feel more confident in your skills. So really excited about the section and I can't wait to hear what you think about it. And again, I'll be adding more content to this over time as we finish Dr. Greg's site. And the last thing I want to add too is I'll be showing you more case study stuff for my own personal website that is also in the middle of being produced right now as I make this course. So uh, my wife has been helping me, my, my wife Jenna, and she was really motivated and inspired by this as well. So she started a Shopify site and we're doing some apparel for kids and families and stuff like that. So I'm excited to kind of show you as we get all these different pieces put together and, and bring you along the ride for the journey. So anyway, really excited. I'm going to stop rambling now, and we are going to dive into the Dr. Greg website case study. All right. Thanks, guys.